happened was that the chains fell off Peter first. And that's what God would have me to share with you tonight. That the first part of deliverance, the chains don't come off of the situation, they have to fall off of you. See, we... See, because before you can be delivered out of something, you got to get delivered in it. Because if you don't get delivered in it first... See, see, if Peter's hands and feet had stayed bound, even if the gates came open, he would have been the same bound the next place he went. So see, the first thing that has to happen is that we got to get free ourselves before we start trying to free situations and circumstances. That's where it has to stop. So a lot of times we want the Lord to fix my husband, fix my children, fix them devils on my job. Lord, fix this person. And God said, no, I want to fix you. Because see, if God, if God doesn't fix you in it, you just going to be the same bound the next place you go. See, because freedom and deliverance and rest and peace don't have nothing to do with the place. It has to do with the person. Because see, if you bound in one place, you will be bound in the next. You can get a change of venue. You can pack all your stuff in a U-Haul and move out to Arizona. If you're confused in Chicago, you're going to be confused in Phoenix. Ain't no need of changing jobs. If you can't get along with people on one job, I said that devil is on this job. The devil on all jobs. See, so what you have to do is learn how to get the victory right where you are. And say, if I move, I'm going to move because I want to move, but not because you ran me away. See, because God, holy Allah, God is trying to free us in these situations. And I, I want to drop something on you that God is teaching to me. The quicker you get delivered in it, the faster you can come out of it. Yes, sir. There are many people that need to get delivered from what people think about them and what folk are saying about them. Oh, bless his name. Now, you see, the way we like deliverance, we like it in the reverse. The first thing we want to happen is for God to free us from the people because that's our main concern. Oh, bless the Lord. The first thing we want to do is show them niggas. The first thing we want to do is set the record straight. The first thing we want to do is turn it out. But God said, that's not the way I deliver you. He said, I'm going to deliver you first. And I'm going to bring you out in such a way that the people are going to know I did it. They're going to know I freed you. They're going to know I brought you out. Because I heard the word of God say, when a man's ways please the Lord, I'll make your enemies be at peace with you. Hallelujah. God. of the people because you may not believe it but there are people sitting on the sidelines with expectations for your life for your ministry they're waiting for your marriage to break up they're waiting for you to leave the church they're waiting for you to have a nervous breakdown they're waiting for you to get weary but God told me to tell you if you keep on praising him if you keep on dancing if you keep on shouting if you keep on lifting him up God will he'll bring you out God will he'll deliver you God will he'll set you free hey, hey, hey. and God will prepare a table before you right in the presence of your enemy he's not gonna do it in the corner but he's gonna put the table out there and what I like about God's deliverance and his preparing a table he doesn't use no paper plates he's not gonna use no plastic spoons he's not gonna use no paper napkins but he's gonna put the linen out he's gonna put the crystal out he's gonna put the china out oh yes Lord I heard the word of God say that no weapon that is formed against me shall prosper but God said every tongue that rises up against me I'll condemn it in the judgment if you hold on if you hang in there if you keep on believing keep on trusting God will he'll bring you out God will he'll see it 